as you know. So uh, last uh, week we were talking about financing your first real estate investment. And I gave you an example of how to get financing because so many people, you know, tell me that they can't find financing um, or they don't know how, which is understandable. You know, no one ever showed you. And it's not something you can always learn very easily um, in a formal setting. You kind of have to go out there and do it. So it's kind of like the Wild West, but you can. And one of the first things to do is just to go ask the seller to, to lend you the money to buy his property he's selling you, right? Now, I'm not a professional in that area. I'm not an expert in that. I understand about the contracts and risk management, and I can talk about it a little bit, but I always refer out to people that know what they're doing, that are experts that actually do that, and that's their primary source of income. So just realize who you're talking to. Someone just asked me about an hour ago if I could write a business contract to, to purchase a business. Now, I can do that and I can show you how to do it, but I'm not the expert. I don't do that normally. Um, what I suggested that he do is go to a business broker because the broker does that all the time. And after he's got something in place, I would like to look at it and see if there's anything in there that I could you know, polish off. But uh, that's how I do things. So we were talking about financing your first real estate investment with an options contract. And I was just suggesting that you should be able to do that and make $50,000 this year. Maybe it's 10. I'm just saying that there's no reason why you shouldn't do it. And if you think, like if I look around my neighborhood, I'm in the suburbs and I'm thinking most of the people in my neighborhood should be able to own three or four businesses in their community. Meaning not own the whole thing and run it and show up every day and work there. I'm saying own an aspect of the business, like a joint venture or have a, a share, like on a contract that says they own so much percentage, right? And they should be making a percentage on that. Now, that's my ideal scenario, but I'm just I'm just giving you this idea because it's it just demonstrates that we can, everybody who's like, you know, living in a house and having a job and this sort of thing, why can't you own the restaurant that you like to go to? Why can't you own part of it? Why can't that be your mindset? I, li I like to own things that I that cost me money. So if I like to go to the Panera down the street, maybe I wouldn't mind uh, contributing $25,000 or $12,000 to have a position in the company, you know, or just things like that. Why not? You should have a net worth. That's when you start having a net worth, okay? Buying a house is nothing. That's not an accomplishment. You didn't buy an asset. You created an asset for somebody else. It's the house that you live in. It's not your asset. It's somebody else's asset. <clears throat> so what you need to do is should consider is acquiring or building or somehow, somehow working with other assets so that you actually have a net worth. <clears throat> Most of you, if you go to a, an accountant right now and ask them to do a balance sheet on your personal holdings, you're going to have a negative net worth. And that's not deliberate. <laughs> so just think about it. All right. So that's why I give the idea that there, there's really a, a means that allow you to uh, get financing to buy real estate and an options contract is one way to do it. And as we were talking on the last call, I, I went and opened up a window to the chat GPT and I showed you how to write or have it write for you an options contract, a standard one that you probably find at LegalZoom if you can find one. Um, now there's some very sophisticated ones by real estate investors. If I were them, I would not share them with you because they're probably trade secrets, but there are some provisions in an options contract that allow you effectively to get financing from the seller and to keep your liquidity, right? So you can get into a contract, maybe it costs you money, okay, to get into the options contract, but you can write it in a way that you can recover the money. It can be free. In other words, for those of you who always ask me, how much risk is there? If you do this right, there can be no risk except the time you take to do it. And it's probably a good investment. Your time is a good investment if you do something like that. And we're talking about money's a claim, right? Set up a balance sheet for your company so that I can obtain financing. 